<laughs> one of the things that we uh, we are really starting to pick back up on is loading up our harvest rate freeze dryer and that thing has probably been a, a game changer for oh. for our food preservation absolutely I mean it's it, a workhorse it really is <laughs> and we grew a lot of peppers a lot of peppers so if you haven't seen Kaylee's tomato jungle tomato what? plantings what would be my pepper it would be my it's not a pepper jungle my, well I have a Tomato jungle. I've got the passion Pe flower fortress. Pepper maze. My, yeah, pepper maze. We grew a few different colors. You know, we did the typical green, the yellows, orange, uh, red peppers. But mm -hmm. I think my favorite. I really liked the the chocolate bell pepper. Oh, those were so pretty. They're like they literally look like chocolate. Mm -hmm. So my dad and my son. And I, we grabbed a couple of bushels and we picked them and brought them inside, washed them up, and then I started to cut all the peppers. Yeah, that was you that day. I don't know what I was doing. But I don't know. But you were you were chopping some peppers. I made some stuffed bell peppers. That was delicious. I think I have a picture of that. That that was probably. I mean, in that Dutch oven kind. Of, oh, that was good. I should have yes. shared that. Uh, but. Mom came up with the idea, let's go ahead and throw them in the freezer. We would grab them as we go. Well, we ran out of time, so it was like we you got them after all that effort of picking, cleaning, <laughs> and chopping, then what? And, and I didn't want to can them. Because and I, I didn't want to just dehydrate them. Right. So you came up with... I needed, them. yeah, we needed to empty out. Uh, my, that's kind of been one of my big goals this mm -hmm. this next couple of weeks is I have to completely empty out one of our our freezers and get it ready for for other things that are going to be going in it so um, I didn't want to can the peppers I didn't mind the frozen peppers that was convenient except when they formed a block yeah that and was that wasn't funny. very much fun I was like <laughs> trying to break them up <laughs> So we grabbed them and we figured let's go ahead and get them loaded up in the freeze dryer. And all in all, between the whole process, minus my mess up, which I will be very honest, mm -hmm. um, I, I messed up because I started the freeze dryer and then I forgot to close the, the little valve that's on the side. It so has a big sign on that I, tells you, reminds you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I thought it was going to be done in about 24 hours and then I came back up and I'm so glad we did because I was like, yes, you know, like, let's pull the peppers out. It's time. And yeah. just kidding. When you realize that valve didn't close so that the vacuum didn't seal and the freeze dryer didn't completely work, the beautiful thing about that, uh, the whole situation is we still didn't lose the peppers. No. Um, because when you came up here and we realized that the Harvest Right freezer maintained it at like negative 40 something degrees. I don't like remember. Negative 47, I think. So, which is crazy. I know. Negative 47 burr. Yeah. Which, I mean, if I would have done a dehydrator and forgotten to plug them in, I just, you know, I don't mm. know. I, I would have been. Well, they were frozen, so then they would have been wet. Right. We would have had a mess. It would have not It would have been, been a mess. It would have not been fun. So, I. I have, uh, between, we've had the freeze dryer for over a year now, and... Oh, we freeze dried almost everything. Almost. There's still a lot of things that I want to play with and freeze dry, but... She's got some really good ideas. So, yes, expect to see more freeze drying videos, not just for food, not just for things that we, we you know, grow in our garden, um, but I am really excited when it comes to harvesting herbs oh uh, yes and wild fair you know feral herbs like i want to go foraging i want to grab them bring them back well even our culinary herbs i can't wait for the rosemary mm -hmm. the oregano the thyme out oh. of our garden yeah. you know i mean i'm i am really what excites me so much about these freeze dried products is you know, we were doing something the other day. Uh, we were making fajitas, oh, and yeah. I and I ordered peppers. I know. You know, I ordered organic peppers. They didn't have it, and Kaylee's like, "Mom, I've got it. We've got it." So within Which... a few moments, we were able to 
include the peppers in a, the, the fajita meal that we were making. And I'm telling you what, the peppers didn't miss a beat. No. They're not soggy. They're they are mm-hmm. full of flavor. They reconstitute perfectly. Mm-hmm. And well, and they absorbed some of that fajita yeah. juice. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. They were delicious. It was. They were very flavorful. And I wanted to share this with you guys because Harvest Right sent over a... A book that they put together. This is Discover Home Freeze Drying from Harvest Right. And I liked the history. Mm-hmm. Of, I thought that was cool. That There's was very whole, interesting. I mean, where was it? I think it right, was, yeah. Right so the, the history of freeze drying. So back in uh, the 1400s, ancient Incas froze potatoes at high altitudes. And it goes throughout the time and kind of shares with you like where we are now, which is it's crazy that we have the ability to to preserve food mm-hmm. for 25 years. I mean, there I made one of our first videos we did was Thanksgiving dinner. Mm-hmm. We did we we freeze dried our Thanksgiving dinner that the all the leftovers, leftovers. Mm-hmm. and. I don't even want to think about how old I'm going to be when I can still eat that. (laughs) But I've had some people ask about the advantages of the freeze dryer and what it offers. And basically, in short, when you freeze dry something, herbs or food, the nutritional value is almost, almost the same. Unlike if you dehydrate something, you lose certain values. So, Or you can sometimes you lose some of the yeah. values because of the high heat. Right. And not only that, there's only a few things that we can't freeze dry. Right. Which we'll go through all of that. But I just, to me... Oh, this book gives us lots of ideas of what else we can freeze dry. I know. <laughs> um, the other thing that was really nice about this book is that it kind of goes into detail about how the freeze dryer works. Especially since we've had a lot of people reach out and they're like, how does the freeze dryer work? Uh, it it kind of has very simple... It does. It, it, it answers that question very simply and then it'll give you a word that if you don't know what it means, you need to go look a little further. That's fine. But what I thought would... It, what I thought is very interesting is that you can take fresh mm-hmm. or frozen food, you you basically place it in the tray, um, and then if it's frozen, if you're going frozen, and that's kind of one of the methods that we've done with some of the foods, yeah, goes into the freeze dryer. The freeze dryer then creates a vacuum. And then what that does is that vacuum basically warms the mm-hmm. food, and then through a process called sublimates or sublimation, it changes the moisture from a solid, basically, mm-hmm. to a gas. And then that gas is what is removed, and that is what that is how, the best way I can explain it so that I can understand it, yeah. freeze drying works. Because there, it's not wet. Right. When it when it's when you take it out it's dry yeah essentially it's crispy yeah. it's almost like a like a cracker texture and some things one's... feel like the eggs the when we did all those eggs they had like a styrofoam kind of like texture it's very interesting i i think like i said i i really i've really genuinely enjoyed this oh it's fun I mean, and there's so many other things. We haven't even done any candy yet. No, and I am like, I'm kind of, I'm, I, <laughs> I want to do Jolly Ranchers. Uh, okay, and I want to do ice cream sandwiches okay. because when I was, when I was a little girl mm-hmm. and I went to the Air and Space Museum, yeah, they were good. and I mean, this was a while ago, so yeah. it was a big treat, but they had, you know, space food, which was freeze dried food and they had ice cream. What a, what a way to experience and remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. And then Milk Duds also. <laughs> they have a picture one in here. It looks really yummy. <laughs> there are a lot of things that you can do. You can do meats. You can do uh, herbs, vegetables, and, and... Candy. Yeah. And, and we're going to do some candy. <laughs> there are a few things that I'm learning that, that don't freeze dry very well. Honey being one of them. I told them challenge accepted. We are going to try something. I might make something out of honey. and, and With honey. Right. And then do... We're going to see. So 
Yeah. Challenge accepted on that. If you guys are interested in, in purchasing a Harvester Right freeze dryer, I do have an affiliate link. It does help support our channel and you guys can learn and explore and do fun things with us along the way on our freeze drying adventure. And I would say, I do want to say this, they do have different sizes. Yeah, this is a medium. Right. And so we're a family of, of seven. Mm -hmm. um, Carson hasn't quite hit the point where he counts as two guys. I, yes, he has. As a oh, he has? Okay. Teenage so, boys. So we're seven plus yeah. <laughs> with a teenager, you know, and the medium really adequately, yeah. I think I would, uh, so far what I've noticed is like if you do a, a serving plate of food, that's a little heavier in it. The plate will easily fill one tray and leave a little extra room. What I like about the freeze dryer, and this is mainly what we've done, but we don't know how to cook for a small no. family. Nope. I have no idea. And I, we, the neighbors, the neighbors' kids. We give food, like I'm like here. Yeah. Uh, and so I really... We have leftovers. Uh, a lot. We try to do a leftover refrigerator cleanup at least one night a week, and we've been able to do like multiple meals inside the freeze dryer. So I can have one tray with two different meals on it, mm -hmm. and then whatever gets freeze dried, we just, you know, store it. Now there are some different size bags that I'm going to be looking at that you can get like a, like an a small, like a small bag that, that seals. I want that. I, I think I want that because that will be really nice and do like smaller portions. That we could talk about this yeah. for hours. Yes. We could do a podcast on I this. I know, we really could. Um, but yeah, between between the herbs, between the things that we have growing in the garden and between us cooking for an army, um, it is very nice and I feel I feel, yes, it's an investment, but I feel like you end up saving a lot of money because we're not throwing food away. Well, and the thing that reassures, it's very reassuring to me, is when you can grab a bag of food as a meal and and preserve it, and like you said, it's good for 20 years. 25, if, yeah. It, um, hello, yeah. we are making our own stock mm -hmm. for ready prepped meals right. that are home cooked. Right. We we know what's in them. We know what how they've been prepared. You know, and they we did rehydrate. Yeah. And it you was delicious. Tell. Yeah. So it took about twenty some hours for the harvest right to completely freeze dry all the peppers that we put up. And after that time was over, I grabbed the trays out. And I started filling a mason jar. We are using a half gallon sized mason jar. This is kind of more of a convenient, ready to go. This is what I need. I'm also going to vacuum seal the mason jar. It's not necessary, but we'll go ahead and do it anyways since it's a little bit easier. Uh, but this is for immediate use. This is for when we need it, when we need to add something in. And I don't feel like cutting up all the stuff for dinner that's what i also very much love about the freeze dryer is that we just literally scoop it out put it in the Got pot it. i filled up one large size mylar bag and this is going to go set aside this is more for like long-term storage but if i need it i can easily go back down there and grab it but we grew enough peppers last year to really see us through an entire year mm -hmm. and this year we're going to do the same thing i'm going to grab the peppers We'll do the same exact thing. Might play around, do some different recipes, uh, play and see, mm -hmm. and have fun with it. I want to show you what a piece of the pepper looks like. This is freeze dried. This is one of the yellow peppers. Let's see if it'll. There it is. But can it catch the sound? Oh, that one's broken. Here, let's try this. See how crunchy? It's like. Crispy. <laughs> I think, you know what we need to do? Speaking of peppers, we've got all those peppers that Renew grew. Oh, the Thai chili peppers? Ooh. We should do that. We should go ahead and let's freeze dry it and then powder them. Mm-hmm. They usually roast them, so maybe roast them and then freeze them and then... Have I ever told you all about the pepper story between my, my little Thai grandma? My... my She's like four foot, what is she, four foot seven? I think four foot. 
four foot something. She's so petite and tiny. My grandpa, he's six foot. Yeah, he's quite tall. Um, but she makes him go work the peppers, but she fires him up before she sends him out in the garden to cook on them. Or she picks a fight before she goes out and tends to them. It's because the meaner you are when you're messing with your peppers. Or the manner. No, feistier. <laughs> the spicier your peppers are going to be, and that's something that she shared with us. Um, maybe these peppers are so sweet. The bell peppers, they're sweet because we were sweet. Oh, no, these are delicious. They are really good. I mean, they taste they taste absolutely fresh. If I held it in my tongue, like held it in my mouth, I think essentially it would reconstitute. Um, but this would be good on a crunchy salad for a crunchy salad topper. Oh, absolutely. This is this is going to be fun. If you want that crunch, if you're doing if you're doing you know non uh, like if yeah if you're not doing any if you're not doing or, any grains or anything like that and you need that little crunch and you want to mm -hmm. make a little lettuce wrap type salad, oh, yeah. throw some of that in there. Mm -hmm. You know that'd so, be good. But yeah, we've done we've done quite. It's it's been quite helpful when we're making. You know, it's cold. We got to throw some soup together real quick. Oh yeah. We don't have time to chop up, cut up vegetables. I mean, it's like running into the door. Quick, let's put it all together. You know how convenient it is to have your vegetables all ready to go. I know that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited. This is going to be fun. We got to start another video this evening of what is what we're gonna prep and that's something i think is going to be fun uh, but that's going to be on the go food yeah which is kind of you know we're busy people so my my mindset for our freeze dryer yeah it's great for just saving leftovers but i really need to be thinking more what on else? the go so we'll keep you guys posted on some of our next freeze drying adventures and her and I both have been kind of, I've been sending you like freeze dried TikTok videos because I'm like, look She's at this. She's killing me. I got 22 yes. videos to look at tonight. <laughs> we're, we're getting ideas. Yes. That's what we're doing. No, it's been, it, this is fun. It I is mean, fun. this last year we've kind of played with it, learned. Now we're starting to really explore and, and Be get creative. creative. Yeah. 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 Definitely. And that's something I'm, I'm excited about. Uh, I will say if you guys head over to the Harvest Right uh, Harvest Right website. I don't know if they're in stock right now, but always check. I ordered before we even started this adventure. I ordered a, a free sample of freeze dried food that they offered. They had uh, bananas. It was strawberries. They yeah, had fruit. It was pork chops uh, and then scalloped potatoes that, that mm -hmm. they had. And all I did is pay for the shipping. So I don't know if they offer that right now. You might want to keep an eye out. Sometimes it's on and then it goes out of stock, but then it comes right back. But if you're interested in, in trying it before you before you go full force, that is a good way. Mm -hmm. I absolutely think so. And I don't know. I'm excited. We've got some fun things to do. And we have a whole nother video to get started for you guys to, uh, to follow and be a part of this. So yep. as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.